I, my my head is looking juicy. <laughs> my head is looking super fucking juicy right now. Hold on, let me get a swig of water, bro. I had a long ass night last night where the Golden Knights game was yesterday. And that's a hockey game, which you know your boy doesn't really know much about hockey, but uh, uh, I sure know how to yell when we get scored against. And I felt like a fucking coach. We got our asses whooped by the Capitals, man. They put a whooping on us, and my voice shows it. But we're here to watch some true facts about Carnivi Carnivius. Carnivius. Plants. 100% true. 100% accurate. All right, the link for the original video is in the description down below. Your voice is, your boy is sounding like a horse horse. A horse horse. I'm horse as a horse right now. But we're going to get in it. These plants match my outfit, my headset, and my chair. So I'm with it. Let's get it. Five years ago, no, sorry, millions of years ago, a number <laughs> of plants started. went through a remarkable adaptation. These photosynthetic plants live in nutrition like poor environments, often lacking in sufficient nitrogen, and so they evolved the capacity to supplement their diets by trapping and eating animal flesh. Like <laughs> my mom used to say, if you need calcium, Eat a milkman. That, yep. That's it. That's, that's perfect. what she said. Perhaps the most well known of these carnivorous plants is the Venus flytrap. Its leaves are divided into two lobes hinged along a midrib. Bang, bang. Small trigger hairs on each lobe are extremely <laughs> sensitive to touch. So far, that's when true. When these hairs are bent, ion channels at the base of the hairs open. This generates an electrochemical signal, which then changes cells in the midrib and allow the lobes, which are held under tension, to snap shut. It is truly as if we are watching the subtle gears tick of nature's exquisite clock. Why did you bleep that? I said clock. You're making it sound like I'm saying cock. Oh, okay. The leaves shut in two phases. At first, the closure is fast, but only part of the way. Trapping oh, larger yeah. prey, but allowing smaller, less nutritious animals to escape. Hey, I saw that. That is so fucked up. Yeah. As if the fly doesn't have <laughs> enough to worry about. He if the right size in insect is captured, the finger like cilia that lines the top of the leaves lace eh. together, eventually forming an airtight seal so that the plant's oh. digestive juices don't leak out and bacteria can't get in. Over the next five to twelve days, it eats little the frogs insect, too? I didn't know that. very I'm sorry. unlucky frog, is digested, after which the fly trap will open again. I if didn't know that. If this seems grotesque to you, imagine what a salad looks like to a plant. <laughs> Think of this as revenge for your mixed greens of horror. I just hate If the fly salad trap yesterday. is like getting your arms chopped off by the sneeze screen at a Chili's salad bar, the Drosera <laughs> is death by lollipop hugging. That's the Drosera so is also called the sundew. Its the tiny what? tentacle hairs glisten Ew. as though tipped with a drop of dew. It is in <laughs> fact not dew, but rather <laughs> mucilage <laughs> secreted by the sundew's mucilage <laughs> glands. <laughs> No, this mucilage is not like that peanut buttery lung cookie you throated up on the subway. This mucilage Ew. is a thick, sticky, glue-like substance that both ensnares and digests Wait, really its prey. The tentacles respond to the slightest touch, causing other tentacles to slowly bend towards the oh, prey and no. downwards. The more the animal struggles, the more they are entangled oh, no. in this external stomach. Except if you are this spider. This is spider it that shit? does not give a f some of the Is largest carnivorous shit? plants employ oh, a like different, a more passive strategy. Nepenthes, or pitcher plants, have modified leaves that uh -huh. act as pitfall traps. Sugary nectar is secreted near the pitcher's peristome, or rim, mm. drawing insects towards a slippery inner wall, which causes prey to fall into and eventually drown in the <laughs> digestive juices below. <laughs> what the hell angle is this Love for me. a shot? <laughs> the inventor of the Kickstarter toilet cam. <laughs> Finally caught a break. The toilet cam. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's for nature videos. Just be hashtag the blessed that you cam. don't have to worry about falling into a stomach. In Borneo, three species of Nepenthes engage in a mutualistic interaction with the mountain tree shrew. What is These oh, plants okay, produce shrew. toilet pitchers, which is already two words that should not be that close together. They <laughs> exude a nectar in a way that is only readily accessible when the shrew places its butt over the pitcher's Are orifice. Are you serious? It's like a form of payment. <laughs> Like a restaurant with toilets as seats. <laughs> what? It's a lot to take in. <laughs> That's what the 
plants. So this is killing me. Mutualism is the way two organisms of different species exist in a relationship in which each individual benefits from the activity of the other. The shrew benefits from eating the exuded nectar. Right. The pitcher plant benefits because someone shits in its mouth. <laughs> Win win. That's so bad. The feces of the shrew is, so is in petty. fact a simple and efficient way for the plant to receive nutrients. That's and it so is gross. a perfect example of one of nature's most fundamental rules. If there is a hole, something will crawl up in there and poop in it. Okay. You can try this, by the way. Lie down and put some honey on your nose. Don't do it. Open your mouth. Don't do it. Do it's not so do that. Up. Do not do that. Hey. Do not open your mouth after you put honey on your nose and then ask somebody to shit in your mouth. Don't do it. All right, that is, what the hell are you doing? So there's gonna be, Near there's gonna be quite a few of these coming out the next couple of days because I am tickled by the idea of these fact videos. We did a couple of them before, but we, we didn't really commit to it. Um, but these true fact videos are hilarious. We did one of the owl a while ago and it just, it cracked me up all the hell. But I forgot about them, so now they're coming back. Yeah, thank you guys for rolling through Chavez, Slovakia. This was fucking fantastic. I'll see you guys in the next one. And uh, stay factual. Peace. God damn it. Crocs, 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 Crocs. Crocs, 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 Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. Wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My Crocs are bold. I go to church. Wearing Crocs. I'm always turned. Wearing Crocs, my Crocs are great. Your Crocs are lame. With my Crocs, I can cross a lake. Crocs, 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 